What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Evolution Everton, episode four, where a bit of a different episode today because it's going to be split into two parts, as some of them already have been, but with quite a long gap in between. I want to keep these videos nice and concise and always something happen for you guys to watch and see what's going on. If you do want to keep up to date, like, and watch every single hour of this grind, come and check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash AJ3. Today, what we're doing is the Nike objectives, qualifying for Div Rivals, and opening crap loads of packs. In anticipation of then, not qualifying for Div Rivals, doing Div Rivals to get enough tokens for Foot Champs qualities is what I mean. With the anticipation of then building our first Foot Champs team and then playing Foot Champs, and probably doing some more Evos along the way as well. So, when I'm doing the start of this video, it's not Wednesday yet. I don't know if Tarkovsky's got an inform. We need to wait and see. However, when I do part two, it most likely will have been Wednesday and we'll know and we'll come back. So we'll probably do that in this video and choose our next Evos and start working towards them as well. However, what I'm doing on the Tuesday is opening some packs for you guys. We've got an 80 times two. We're probably going to work our way up to this 83 times 10 in this video, which is absolutely unbelievable. I am picking the 83 times 10, I think, not the 84 times five. We've got some of us down here. We've got some in our milestones and things like that that we can open and sort out. And we're going to go and do the Nike objective, which I have been made aware is 20 games you've got to play, which is a lot of games. We're obviously not going to put all of them in this video, but I need to play like 20 games of Div Rivals to qualify for, to get enough tokens to do Foot Champs qualities anyway. So, you know, just stick a Nike Evo player in my team whilst I'm playing Div Rivals. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We may as well open the packs first because, you know, it would be funny if we bought an Enzo Fernandez and then packed on. So on the slight off chance that we do manage to pack one, we'll open the packs first. So let me claim all of this stuff, and then we'll do a little mini pack opener, and then we'll go see how much we can pick a Nike ready player up for, and jump into some gameplay. So my packs have been claimed, all bar this one, a 78 times 2 which I will grab. And also, you guys, as you've seen in the last episode, whilst you're playing some Div Rivals and stuff to evolve better, we were using players from the Eredivisie in the squad. So we've unlocked this guy, Small. So we can grab him. I'm not sure I'm going to particularly use him, but you know, nice bit of fodder. Probably should have watched that because that looked pretty cool, but never mind. There's our first Squad Foundations card unlocked. We are very close to getting this one as well. We need to assist one more goal with an Eredivisie player, and then we do need to score nine goals. But I will just jump into a game of semi-pro squad battles and just score nine goals in one game and get that complete. And we'll unlock this guy, which is class. Very nice. Really good. We've got crap loads of stinky packs and stuff in here. I'm just going to claim all of them. And let's go and do a big old pack opening to start this episode off. Okay, then. A lot of packs. None amazing yet. Obviously, when we get to level 10, we'll get an 83 times 10, which is unbelievable. And we'll get some good stuff from the Nike objectives. But just on the off chance, we'll open these ones in case we get something good. That is Fabinho. That is good fodder. That's a lovely start. Very nice. This one is an English centre-back from Everton. My Evo, potentially. Go on, then, first owner Evo Tarkovsky. If that man doesn't get an inform, he's going to be a first owner Evo. That is class. Things you love to see. Is that Vlahovic as well? Wait, these packs are actually quite good. That's some good fodder. I say good in terms of what they're giving me, not good in terms of the actual packs themselves. These are normal gold packs. They're just untradeable. Decent. Tadic is now an 82. And in the Turkish League. Okay, nice. Fodder again. Just going to keep saying fodder. I think. Oh, there's Garnacho. Am I right in thinking Garnacho costs an absolute fortune? That's completely pointless for me because I can't sell him. That one was untradeable. But I swear, him and Mainu are like off the charts crazy. No, he's a thousand coins. Never mind. I'm off my head. That's fine. Happy to be stupid. I know Mino is extinct. I thought Garnacho was expensive because all the Man United fans were doing the... Who's this? If that's Osman. Oh my God. Imagine. Imagine. All United fans. And to be honest with you, with Mino, a lot of people in general are just doing the bronze upgrade of him because he's cracked and he's from the Prem. And then Garnacho is not a bad one to do the left wing with if you're a Man U fan. This man has had an absolute roller coaster of a football career. I mean, 82 is still quite good. But he went from, like, unemployed to Champions League winner to 82 rated in the Saudi League. 
which is still pretty good to be fair. Like, 82 is not terrible. But there was a point where I thought, bloody hell, this guy is going to get the... being the team of the year, you know? He's going to get, like, a 95-rated card on foot for being the team of the year goalie. And then he's fell all the way back down to 82. And then finally, before we go and grab ourselves a night player, do we pack one? We do not. Is that Muriel? Is he still knocking about? Oh, it's Zapata. Fodder still? No, he's down to an 81. So that was all my packs. That was some good packs, but no Nike ready player to slot into my team. So I believe the cheapest one is about 30k. It is 32,000 for Enzo Fernandez. Let's see if we can get a snipe. Oh, I almost did straight away. Bloody hell. That would have been unreal. There we go. Didn't really save much. 31,750. But he's Nike ready. I haven't got... If you're wondering why I haven't got the loan one, it's because I bought the game on my main account, which is where I got the loan and the 4,600 free points and stuff like that. Well, I say bought. EA gave me it. But I, got, I own the game on my main account, whereas on this game... On this account, sorry, I don't own the game. I'm just using it because my main account owns it. So I don't get any of the pre-order benefits. So I had to buy a Nike Ready player to be able to do this objective. So I'm going to slot him in, into my team. And we are just going to go and grind a crap load of Div Rivals. And I might jump back in occasionally and we'll play some games and update you guys on the video. But most likely when we're almost done, I'll come back. We'll finish off a few games and then we'll open all the packs and stuff. Welcome back. It has been a couple of days. I can't remember what I was talking about at the end of part one of recording for me. I imagine we were trying to qualify for foot champs. Foot champs is cancelled, which is great because I didn't get anywhere near qualifying. I stink at this game currently, but we are on stream today and we are practicing, we are grinding. I've been watching some tips videos and I'm hoping I was just a little bit tired and my head wasn't in there and I wasn't concentrating properly the other day because it was painful. We'll see. We're going to play a game in this video. I'm going to catch you guys up because I have got a super sneaky I don't want to say top secret, it's not top secret, but people are a little bit confused by it. Evolution on the go. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it. How you can evolve a gold player using the bronze evos. It's very smart. First of all though, when we jumped in, we've got Div Rival rewards. And I am hot. These packs stink by the way. I think that's a 15k pack and whatever a gold rare booster pack is. I can get 7.5k coins, which I'm half tempted to do. But I'm a gambling man, and I'm going to take the packs for the content. So we got four packets to open. We were in Div 9, because I absolutely stink. And we didn't even get close to getting the Foot Champs tokens that we need. 344 I've got, including the ones that it's just given me then, which is painful. We're about a quarter of the way there. However, Foot Champs was meant to start this Friday. And they've pushed it back a week, which is great for me, because I wasn't making it. It's absolutely painful. My record is, surprisingly, we had a little poll about this on the stream. My record is, surprisingly, actually positive, which I am shocked by. I guess I am used to just being able to cruise through Div 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, etc, etc. And this year I haven't. I'm 13, 2, and 8, which is still fine. It's still positive. But it's weird for me losing games in Div 9. And I appreciate the game's not fully out yet and everyone who's got the games to sweat. But that's the same every year. And I've always just cruised through the games quite easily. I'm naturally being all right at FIFA and picked it up quite quickly. It's painful this year. So anyway, before we jump into a game, we can talk a little bit about gameplay. We got some packs to open and I've got to show you guys my secret evolution. Oh, Nana. Now, whilst I was grinding all of the Div Rivals games, I probably should have come back in and showed you guys what I was doing, but I'll catch you up now anyway. We've got a lot of Div Rivals to play and a lot of games for this Nike promo to play. So I thought I may as well start working towards another evolution. Now, we've also been robbed because Tarkovsky didn't get an inform. It's a disgrace, EA. We've also been blessed with some genius knowledge by some of you guys in the comment section. Alex Greenwood and Chloe Kelly used to play for Everton. So I have inadvertently got Alex Greenwood, an Everton player in this team, in Alex Greenwood because I packed her and she's actually quite good. Chloe Kelly used to play for Everton as well and she's got the whipped pass trait, which is, if you guys haven't seen it yet, is unbelievable. Let me show you the... Play, it's not a trait, it's a play styles plus is what it is. And it makes her crosses. Lauren Hemp's got it as well. Lauren Hemp, unfortunately, didn't used to play for Everton, but we could always just put it in anyway. Chloe Kelly did. 88 pace, four star, four star. And most importantly, the play styles plus for whipped pass. It makes her crosses incredible. And we've got the big man up front in Beto. It seems absolutely poetic, like fate has brought the two of them together. I'm going to have to get them, get her into the squad for foot champs. But 
What we've got is Onana. Now, Onana is currently a 77 rated Evos player. Played 70 games for us, five goals, six assists from sentiment. Quality player. What I've gone and done is put Onana into the Welcome to Evolutions thing and get in a plus one in every stat. And then, because he's now an Evo card, you're meant to put a bronze player into Golden Glow of Part 1. And it takes a 64 to an 80. You can then take that 80 rated Evos player that you've got and put it into Golden Glow of Part 2. Screw that. There's no bronze player that you can evolve forever. I know you guys keep telling me about Onyango. He's unfortunately got too much physical to qualify for this as it's a max of... 73. I think he's got 75. What I did instead was put my now Welcome to Evolutions, Evolutions Onana into part two, and we're going to turn Onana into an 81 rated CDM. Genius! That's what that is. Genius. The issue is this thing's actually really hard to do, and it's reset all of my progress. So, well done, EA. That's brilliant. Thanks for that. We were most of the way through level one. I think he'd got one or two assists, and we'd played all of the games. So I was thinking about maybe coming on today and just going into a squad battles on semi-pro and quickly getting the rest of the assists to them and then we jump into level two and the EA have just said, screw you, Andy. So that's great. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. We go again. But yeah, you can do that. So if you guys are an Everton fan like myself and don't have a good bronze card, and to be honest with you, most of the good bronzers, there's Mainu from the Prem, isn't there? With the Manu guy and he's extinct at 10k. There's not many... Premier League teams, which I assume most of you guys, most of my viewers are from the UK, and most of you will, su will support a Premier League team. Not many have good bronze players, but a lot of Premier League teams, like Everton, have average centre mids that are non-rare. So if we go and have a look at some of them in the concepts, we have got Eze. Can he play centre mid? He can. That would be a class one. Calvin Phillips, if you're a City fan. Coutinho, McTominay, John McGinn. Basuma, Douglas Louise. I could have, there's one Ducore. I could have done Everton Ducore as well. There's loads of them that you guys could have picked up. Conor Gallagher, Pereira, Pascal Gross, Lamina. Stick them in the Welcome to Evolutions to turn them into an Evolution card. And then because you've because they're then an Evo card, you can put them into Golden Glow Part 2 and make them even better. So I'm excited to have a nicely evolved Anana. I unfortunately need to work all the way back up from the start in order to get through level one. But once we've done it all, it's going to be quality and we'll make sure we've got it done by next foot champs. This is a unique mix of gold items to boost your squad. Seven items, players and consumables. Absolutely terrible. That's what you get for being in Div 9, Andy. What have we got? A French striker from Man U. Martial. Okay. He's not even... I can't even say good fodder. He's not good fodder. He's not a good super sub. He's got 80 pace this year. The guy is finished. But, you know... Ooh, that's quite jazzy. Stocking up the club is what we're doing. Stocking up the club. I've rolled the dice. Probably should have took the 7.5k. But we all knew that before I opened the packs anyway. It's fine. An Argentinian centre-back. Otamendi. It's always Otamendi. Every single time it's Otamendi. In fact, it's every single time Otamendi so much. I've got a duplicate Otamendi on the road to glory. Do you know what? What we're going to do? We may as well utilise his 600 coins worth of fodder or whatever it is. Yeah, 650 coins. We'll put him into an SPC. We're going to do the Madison SPC at some point anyway. So it's all untradeable apart from Alair. Let's get ourselves an extra pack to open. It's a gold pack. Come on. Well, we're halfway to Madison's play of the month, which is great. All right. Two more packs. Once we've sent our second Otamendi to the club. And we can go and play a game of Div Rivals. And talk to you guys a little bit about game settings and stuff like that. And things that I've seen on... Twitter, on Insta Reels, on some YouTube stuff. And I am still firmly of the belief that anybody telling you that they have sussed custom tactics and have got the best custom tactics you can possibly have and blah de blah de blah is absolutely talking out of their arse. However, it doesn't mean that someone couldn't have found some quite good custom tactics. They just don't know that they're the best possible ones. And if they're finding success... Oh my God, we've just packed Edison. Yes, go on the walkout. What a goalie to go in my squad. Shut up about custom tactics, Andy. Who cares? We've just packed Edison. Go on, the boy. Sunset as well. Absolute goat of the career mode. That is beautiful. He doesn't sell. And in fact, buying him off the market would be mental. Because EA have got him set to 136,000 min. 
So the fact that he's untradeable makes literally no difference to me because I couldn't sell him anyway. And he's just going to go straight in my squad. Absolutely love to see it. So yeah, we are going to have a little look at some people's suggested settings, but we're not going to get too carried away with it because it took in FIFA 23 months before people properly worked out the sweatiest meta stuff to do. It took... It, I don't think it was even until Team of the Year that people started playing like 5-4-1 and stuff like that. So... And then whenever El Tornado Crosses was, it took ages to work that out. So we're taking it with a pinch of salt, but we're going to give it a little try and see whether we can put some results together. So there's our packs. She's got a play stars plus at 82 rated. That's kind of crazy. What's she got? Press proven. Fair enough. Anyway, get me Edison in my team, first and foremost. And let's jump into a game of Div Rivals and see how we're getting on. So, let's have a little look at our settings first, and we are going to finish off the Nike objectives in this video as well and open all of them packs, so don't be leaving because we're playing Div Rivals. Right, short assistance, precision. I still can't decide if this is worth my time or not, basically. You definitely score some goals that would usually do weak shots and the keeper would save, but I also miss some serious sitters, and I can't decide if it's worth me grinding it out in order to get good at it. Anyway, time finishing is on. Through passes semi. Lob passes semi. This can't be anything higher than this in competitive settings when you're playing in Div Rivals. I'm going to put it out there. I feel like you should have to play with precision shooting on in foot champs, maybe even Div Rivals as well. But that's a discussion for another day. Crossings on semi. Lob passes assisted. This is on power lock. That is good. Precision pass sensitivity. At high sensitivity, the aim will always match your angle input, making it more responsive, yet more challenging to aim precisely. Yes, why would I want to, why would I want to do a precision pass and it not aim where I'm pointing? Sorry, have I lost my head? Like, what? What? Anyway, defending. This is the interesting one. Tactical defending allows you to time your tackles and maintain your position. It will contextually choose blah, blah, blah. Advanced Defending, apparently, is where it's at. You can now press X instead of Circle to do a lockout, is I think what they call it. And you steal the ball, but don't go for a lunge. So we're going to give that a try. Air balls and loose balls is fine. Auto switch is on low. Right switch, yeah, yeah. I've seen Chubo say to turn this up to five. I don't know why. I'm going to just have a go. Goal side is very important, in my opinion. Player lock is on. Dribbling, yes. Goalkeepers, whatever. Analog experience is off. Okay. Let's jump in. We haven't really changed very much and try and actually win a game. Let's see whether my brain's engaged and we can concentrate properly today. The other two things are A, first of all, custom tactics. I've heard a lot of talk about this new formation, which I also am a little bit confused about because it's called 4213. But I can't quite work out in my head how it could possibly. It's two CDMs and a cam. Okay. So it's 4334, but with a CDM, with two CDMs. Or it's 4333, but with a cam instead of a centre mid. Interesting. So we'll also give that a go because I've seen people, a lot of talk about the new formation as well. Why not? We'll have a little go at it. And then the other thing is obviously we are still doing these Nike objectives. So stay tuned for another big pack opening at the end of this video to hopefully stock up the club with more good stuff like Edison. The gamble paid off. Let's get into a game. All right, we are playing against Ramsdale, Stones, Laporte, Lucy Bronze, also used to play for Everton, by the way. He's got Cristiano Ronaldo, bloody hell. Evo's Matoma. All right, nice little team. Nice little team. There's a lot of very good women's players that used to play for Everton because unlike real life, Everton women's actually used to be really good. Because unlike the men's team, I should say, Everton women's actually used to be really good. Go on, Beto. Oh, good save. Should have chipped that. Oh, go on, Beto. We've actually chipped it this time. He's learned his lesson. And Beto bags. Maybe I just need to play on camera. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, Beto is dancing. That is the worst finish I have ever done. And it's just slotted it underneath the goalie with a P-roller. <laughs> well, what's really annoying is that should be one of the goals for level 2 for Onana. But they've reset all my evolution progress. The absolute pain in the ass. We 
are cooking today. All right, I'm back. Ignore everything I said about being bad at this game. I was just having an off day the other day when I was playing loads of the rivals. We are back, baby. Go on, Beto. Dink him. Dink him, Beto. You goal steal a little snake, Memphis. From the goat of the series. It's fine. This guy's going to rage quit. We've got a 4 0 win. We're back, baby. It's like Everton in real life. What a time to be alive. Win the next game with Div 8. What I'm going to do is go away and play crap loads of games because we're actually playing all right today. And I'll jump back and maybe show you guys the final game and also open all of them Nike packs. Very exciting. Okay, welcome back again. We are on the final objective for Onan. I just wanted to get that in there because that is extra important. What this video is all about is doing packs and Nike objectives and stuff. Which we've got all of them done. Bar one, we need to play one more game. So we're going to do that. I also wanted to show you that we were in squad battles, scoring outside the box goals to finish off this part two of the Onana Revolution so we can carry on doing part three in Rivals and stuff. And whilst I was there, I thought I may as well go and score myself 10 goals with an Eredivisie player. So I've unlocked Silicon, a pack, and Drewek. I don't know if that's how you pronounce this fella's name, but he looks like an unbelievable super sub. So he can get on the bench. Stillerson, I guess, is handy to have just in case we ever want to build an Eredivisie team in future. But it's basically just free stuff in it. So we've done that. We need to play one more game for the Nike stuff. And then we'll have crap loads of stuff to open. And we've even got some stuff already in our store. So let's jump in. We've been doing well today, actually. I want to show you guys as well Beto's record because the man is an absolute machine. He's a goal-scoring god for me. Every single game I've played with Beto has been in rivals. So much so I even made a separate squad in order to go into squad battles with just Onana in it. You can see he's played 31 games, whereas Beto's only played 30. 55 goals and 15 assists Beto has got. 70 goal contributions in 30 games. Every single one of them in rivals. Dan Juma's doing well as well, to be honest with you. I don't really like Tapai. But he's got 25 contributions. He's all right. This Enzo Fernandez is an absolute waste of money. I'm hoping his price doesn't crash too much and we get some good stuff from the packs because he's been a pain in my ass. He's not very good. Onan is quality. Absolutely love him. He's got the tiki taki tiki taka play style now. And when we finish the part three, he'll have pinged pass. Passes travel faster on the ground without impacting the difficulty of trapping it for the receiver, which is quality. So he's very nice. The Everton team's looking good. We need to start off evolving Tarkovsky, which I probably should have done as well, but never mind. Save that for another episode. And we need to pick who we want to do for the winger. Let me know in the comments. Do we do an ex-Everton winger? Like Damari Gray? Because he's actually good. Do we do a current Everton winger? Like McNeil or Harrison? McNeil, I would like to be good, but his card is terrible. Harrison's only on loan, but he's better than McNeil. Do we do Anthony Gordon? It just got absolutely rogue. We're not doing Anthony Gordon. I refuse. Let me know in the comments what we should do. For now, let's see what we're playing. It's Pickford! Go on! Oh my god, he's got Wayne Rooney, Madison, and Steve McGowan. I'm going to upgrade Nancy Fatty and a Rashford. Oh my god, go outside. It's like playing myself on my other account. I mean, I don't want to say against the run of play, because it's only been 10 minutes, and I kicked off, so I had the ball. But... We've had chances. They haven't gone in. He's had one shot. He's kicked it straight at Edison and Rooney scored. Oh, one dribbling with Beto is so OP. Oh my God, Pickford's unbelievable. Get him in my team. Screw up. Edison has cost me so many goals. I need Pickford. I need an evolution to upgrade a goalie. I need to learn a corner technique as well because Beto's six foot four and fully evolved. We should be winning headers and scoring corners. Ah, it's a great finish. Okay. Okay. We've had a few chances. He's made a few good saves. That's a great through ball by Rash uh, by Madison and a ridiculous first time finish by Rashford. We're getting a little bit pay to win, but unfortunately, well, luckily, we don't need to actually win to do the objective, so that's fine. We are getting picked apart. This guy's team's insane. Mac that Madison is unbelievable. I know we've already done a squad of it. I'm gonna, we're finishing that thing off. We were obviously always finishing it off because I've done one of the squads. But I'm excited to finish it off because he is insanely good. 
My dribbling is... I mean, my head's gone, let's be honest. We've lost this game. We're 3-0 down after 30 minutes. The guy's team is mental, and he's actually good at the game as well, which is even worse for me. So we're going to get an absolute pumping, and I'll just come back when I've lost like 7-0 at the end of this game, I guess, and we'll open all the packs. of Andy's office. <laughs> Suck on that Istanbul. What a comeback. That was two filthy goals for three all and four free. I was a rage quit after I was playing against me as well. Understandable. <laughs> right. <laughs> let's stop taking the mick and let's go and open these Nike packs. Claim all. What a button. Two player picks. Eight. Oh my God. Wait, can I open these now? Oh my God. Have I clickbaited everyone? Sure, I have to say. I didn't realize these were so good. Oh my god, I think I've clickbaited everyone. I'm going to have to save these packs for Road to the Knockout. I didn't realise they were so good. I thought I was getting two rare gold packs and stuff. I've got to do the player picks, I think, because I'm one of 380+. plus. Oh, and okay, and Nike Mad Ready. Go on, who's my loan? Alexia Putelas, beautiful. All right, I'll open the pick, just because I can't do is that bad. I should have saved it. Right, we're not opening anything. I can only apologise for your watching of this video. However... Your watching of the Road to Glory overall is only going to improve. You're just going to have to, unfortunately, wait for the next episode. We've got... I mean, I've just got some loan icons, which is banging. What we've also got in here is an 83 times 10, an 81 times 2, an 83 plus. And we're very close to an 85 plus as well. The next episode is going to be unbelievable. And it's going to be Road to the Knockout Packs. And we're going to pack ourselves a Road to the Knockout Halland. I'll see you then.